5 Exotic Superfood Fruits That You've Never Heard Of When it comes to eating more fruits and vegetables, many people will translate this automatically to eat more apples and carrots. There are a few classic fruits and vegetables that we tend to think of, and anything else is way off our radar. This is a mistake, though. When you get a bit more adventurous, you can often find amazing fruits and vegetables that come packed with a ton of amazing benefits. In this presentation, we'll list five that you might never have heard of. Black Chokeberry Okay, this doesn't sound like something that would be good for your health, but it totally is. A black chokeberry is definitely a lesser-known fruit, but it's one that can help to improve weight loss, eye health, healing, and digestion. It's also great for combating cancer. Chokeberries have a great ratio of calories to nutrients, making them a perfect diet food. Rosehip Rosehip was apparently all the rage during World War II, but has since flown off the radar. Rosehips are extremely high in vitamin C, with four times as much of the stuff as black currants. This makes them perfect for fending off colds and flus. Rambutans Rambutans are similar to lychee, but still very unusual looking. They are high in vitamin C and also contain a high water content. This makes them great for dieting, but also useful for hydration. Did you know we get a lot of our hydration from our food? Physalis Sounds a bit like a disease, so you might prefer to call it Cape Gooseberry. Either way, this is a cherry that is related to the tomato and which can be used in place of it for those with allergies. It's high in vitamin A, which makes it great for eye health and skin health. Kuwano The Horned Melon The fruit of South Africa is covered in small spikes. It's another one that has high water content, 80%, and it's also high in antioxidants and other nutrients such as vitamin E and A. It is particularly well regarded for its ability to fight Alzheimer's. Looking for more of a specific nutrient or trying to solve a particular ailment? Then try branching out, no pun intended, and exploring more exotic fruits. You might just find something that changes your health drastically for the better and that you love the taste of. Five Healthy Benefits of Blueberries Blueberries are some of the healthiest fruits around, and that's saying a lot seeing as fruits of all shapes and sizes are extremely healthy. While they can be a little on the expensive side, blueberries are also extremely convenient to eat, taste great, especially with yogurt, and are available year-round. For those reasons, you should add them to your diet. Not convinced? Well, keep listening, and I'll share five ways that blueberries improve your health. 1. They are extremely high in antioxidants. Blueberries are extremely high in antioxidants. These are substances that combat free radicals in the body. Free radicals being molecules that cause damage to cells that eventually break through and lead to premature aging and cancer. Blueberries are widely believed to contain among the highest antioxidant counts of any fruits and vegetables, which makes them extremely effective at slowing aging and preventing cancer. Those are two extremely compelling reasons to get more of them. Two. They're high in flavonoids. Blueberries are also extremely high in flavonoids. These are substances found in many earth-grown foods that have a host of beneficial properties. Not only are flavonoids often antioxidants themselves, but they are also extremely useful at boosting the metabolism and strengthening the immune system. They have many more miraculous properties that we have yet to fully explore. 3. Blueberries Combat Bad Cholesterol Contrary to popular belief, cholesterol is not a bad thing in itself. Cholesterol can become harmful under certain circumstances, however, such as when it becomes oxidized. For this reason, blueberries have been shown to lower the bad kind of cholesterol, LDL, by as much as 27% over 8 weeks. They can also lower blood pressure. 4. They support brain function the antioxidants in blueberries have been shown in several studies to help protect areas of the brain specifically relating to intelligence. They also help to support the lifespan of aging brain cells and help you to support stronger signalizing between them. Several studies show that blueberries can actually make you perform better on cognitive tests and may help to delay mental aging by up to two and a half years. 5. They are nutrient-dense but low in calories. There are many more amazing benefits of blueberries, but what's incredible is that you get all of these without having to consume a large number of calories. 
blueberries are high in the good stuff and low in the calories. So, there's no reason to eat lots. Five Illnesses Improved by Fruits and Vegetables Fruits and vegetables are the unsexy solution to all your problems. You might be holding out for some amazing super supplement or a biohack that can help you to become the best version of yourself. Don't hold your breath. The answer is right there in front of you, and it's almost insultingly simple. To demonstrate, here are five serious illnesses that fruits and vegetables help to fight. Five ways that they can change your life. Cancer Cancer is caused by mutations that occur deep within the cell, where the DNA is housed. When this DNA is damaged, it causes the cell to create faulty copies of itself, which then further spread to create cancerous tumors. Vitamins and vegetables can help to fight this process thanks to their antioxidants. These are substances that combat the free radicals that are most responsible for this kind of damage. On top of this, fruits and vegetables also include numerous individual nutrients that have been shown to directly combat tumors. Heart Diseases Heart disease has many causes, from high blood pressure to stress to a weak heart. All of these can be helped by fruits and vegetables, which provide an excellent source of fiber to help reduce blood pressure, and which provide vitamins and nutrients shown to ease it further, while also strengthening the heart. Depression Depression is a very serious, invisible disease. While it has many causes, most of which are not still fully known, vitamins and minerals can help in many ways. Apart from anything else, they can provide crucial precursors that the body will use to create feel-good hormones like serotonin. Arthritis You know what serotonin also does? It helps to combat pain, acting like a natural analgesic. This makes fruits and vegetables useful for any chronic pain. Not only that, but many fruits and vegetables possess anti-inflammatory properties, which make them ideal for fighting arthritis. Alzheimer's Alzheimer's is a serious degenerative condition affecting the brain. While there are again many different causes, some of the known ones can be held at bay with a diet rich in important micronutrients. Know what though? We haven't even scratched the surface yet. Eat more garlic for instance, and you'll be able to kill off bad bacteria from within your gut. And of course, vitamin C and D are amazing at fighting off the common cold. Whatever your malady, fruits and vegetables can certainly help. Five Incredible Health Benefits of Eating Bananas Bananas are a great example of a fruit that doesn't get all that much press. After all, this is not some exotic superfood, but rather a simple piece of fruit that can be found in the aisle at most grocery stores. But you shouldn't let that fool you. Bananas are still incredibly healthy fruits that have a ton of advantages. Here are just five great reasons to eat them. 1. They can boost your mood and energy. Bananas are loved by athletes and can similarly be useful for the rest of us who sometimes find that life gets a bit too much. That's because bananas are rich in B vitamins, which helps us get energy from carbs. Bananas themselves are also a great fuel source, being a relatively low calorie source of carbohydrates. 2. They prevent cramps Bananas are rich in potassium. This is an electrolyte that helps to maintain the balance and charge within the body. The result is that they reduce cramping, another reason they are loved by athletes in particular. 3. They support a healthy gut Bananas are excellent for supporting a healthy gut flora. This in turn can boost immunity, energy, mood, digestion, and much more. Bananas are what we consider prebiotic, meaning that they help to prepare the stomach to make it habitable for the best beneficial microbes. The high fiber content also helps with this, as fiber is a great source for bacteria. 4. They're great for digestion Bananas are also great for your digestion. This is partly thanks to the fiber content, which helps to clear the digestive system, and partly thanks to the way it supports the gut flora, which in turn helps to break down foods and produce enzymes. Moreover, bananas are also alkaline, which means that they can neutralize the negative effects of stomach acid and heartburn. 5. They are extremely easy to eat Bananas are fantastic diet foods because they're so easy to grab. This means that they can be used as an alternative to less healthy snacks, which in turn makes them ideal for dieting and weight loss. It also means that you can get at least one of your five a day extremely easily. 
and it means that you can enjoy all these many health benefits whether you're on the go or whether you're just waiting for the kettle to boil at home. Five Reasons to Eat More Fruits and Vegetables Think you don't need more fruits and vegetables in your diet? Think again. Your mom didn't make you eat your greens for fun, you know. They actually have a ton of really amazing benefits that can help to improve your health, happiness, and well-being. In this presentation, we're going to look at just five of them. But they're so impressive, I think you'll be convinced. Here goes! That Healthy Glow First thing you'll notice if you start eating more fruits and vegetables is that you develop a healthy glow. People will comment on this too. You'll hear comments such as, you look really healthy today. That glow is an intangible quality, but it comes from the fact that your body is thriving, like a plant that is well watered, and that your skin, teeth, hair, and nails all have the nutrients they need. Better Mood If you find yourself often getting out of the wrong side of the bed, fruits and vegetables can help. Why? Because they provide healthy carbs, and they provide the building blocks of feel-good hormones like serotonin. This also goes hand-in-hand hand with greater energy. If you haven't bounded out of bed in a while, then prepare to remember what it feels like. Better Sleep Other natural precursors also exist in fruits and vegetables. Take cherries, for instance, that contain melatonin, the sleep hormone. Other nutrients like vitamin D and magnesium also help to regulate and improve sleep. When you have a good night's sleep, you look and feel even better. Brain Power Feel like you're not firing on all cylinders? Having problems with brain fog? Nutrients can help you cut through that for laser-like focus. Eat a more balanced diet with fruits and vegetables, and you'll find that it helps to improve your memory, your creativity, your enthusiasm, your energy, and much more. Stronger Immune System If you are constantly struggling with colds, then there is a higher than average chance you need more vitamins and minerals in your diet. With a stronger immune system, you'll be able to fend off those nuisances, but also help to fight off much more serious and disastrous illnesses and diseases. For example, fruits and vegetables can help to combat cancer thanks to their content of antioxidants, and can also help to regulate blood sugar to improve diabetes. They may also be able to fend off Alzheimer's and more. Can a multivitamin replace fruits and vegetables? Everyone knows that they should be eating more fruits and vegetables. And everyone knows the reason, in order to get more vitamins and minerals. But seeing as this is the main objective, you might be wondering if there isn't an easier way. What if, instead of eating more fruits and vegetables, you instead got the very same nutrients from a supplement? What if you just took a multivitamin or multimineral? Is that just as good for you? In this presentation, we are going to find out. The Good on the one hand, a multivitamin tablet, which I'll use to refer to both multivitamin and multimineral from now on, can help to offer a very convenient way to get more nutrients in your diet. You might have heard some people say that you don't absorb the nutrients from supplements. This is in fact untrue. And if you need evidence, consider the cases of people who live off products that are designed to contain an entire balanced diet in a single supplement. Yes, these are real. While that's definitely not a good idea, it's also true that these people are fine. They didn't die because their body could absorb and use those nutrients. And the same goes for a multivitamin. So if you're struggling to get enough of something in particular in your diet, getting it from a supplement can be a great way to solve that problem. And this is particularly useful if what you need to get more of is something super rare and unusual. The bad. That said, it is also true that you won't absorb nutrients from a supplement as well as you would do from an actual piece of fruit or vegetable. There are many reasons for this. One is that it is actually partly the combination of nutrients that helps the body to absorb. For example, fat-soluble vitamins require a fat source to be absorbed, something not normally present in supplements. Likewise, many vitamins actually work best when consumed at the same time. That's before you consider the different pharmacokinetics that influence the amount of time it takes for vitamins and minerals to travel through the body, which means you ideally wouldn't take them at the same time. Plus, actual fruits and vegetables have many other benefits, such as being a rich source of fiber and of healthy carbs. In short, the real deal is always best.
How many fruits and vegetables should you really be eating per day? Fruits and vegetables are incredibly good for us. We all know this. And governments tell us that we should aim to be eating somewhere between five and seven individual fruits and vegetables per day. Then we see a lot of products and packaging that promise us they count toward our five a day. So what's the deal? Does your ready meal really count? And just how much fruit should you actually be getting? Listen up and let me explain. The first thing to recognize is that the government recommendation of five or seven fruit or vegetables per day, depending on where you live, is just arbitrary. In other words, it isn't based on anything. That's not to say it's not good advice. It certainly is good advice. But five and seven are not magic numbers. Why not six? And ideally, you should be aiming to get as much fruit and vegetables as possible without consuming too much sugar or calories in the process. In fact, many health organizations and officials actually recommend that we aim to get nine fruits and vegetables. They simply released the lower recommendations as they felt that was a more realistic target for most people to aim for. The thing to understand is that fruits and vegetables are not magic foods. They aren't instantly healthy simply as a result of their categorization. Rather, fruits and vegetables are considered healthy because they contain certain vitamins and minerals, along with essential fatty acids and amino acids. Our bodies need these to perform a myriad of different crucial tasks in maintaining our health and enabling normal bodily functions. The objective of eating lots of fruits and vegetables then is to get as many of these things as we can and thereby to enjoy the best possible health. So is five or seven a magic number? No, because the precise range of minerals and vitamins you get in your diet can vary drastically depending on which five or seven fruits you get. And more importantly, when you consume something like a ready-made lasagna that claims to be one of your five a day, it likely isn't as good as if you ate the real thing, a tomato. Why? Apart from being covered in added sugar and salt, it will also have been highly processed to the point that at least some of the nutritional value will be lost, even if that's just the fiber. So the new rule? Just eat lots. How to eat lots of vegetables if you don't like vegetables. There are many reasons that people can struggle to get all the fruits and vegetables they need in their diet. Maybe they're extremely busy and don't have time to shop for fresh food or cook healthy meals. Maybe they don't have much cash and find that buying ready meals is cheaper. There is another reason that is easy to overlook though. A lot of people simply don't like fruits and vegetables. More specifically, a lot of people have big issues with vegetables. And if that describes you, you need to think about what you can do to solve this problem. In this presentation, we'll look at some easy fixes for that slight issue. Put them in cooking. One simple way to get yourself to eat more vegetables is to put them in your cooking. You might not like mushrooms, for instance, but if they are inside a bolognese, you might not notice them. And if that doesn't work, another option is to grate them. Grating things like carrot into a mix really does make them impossible to taste while still offering all the same benefits. Try some sauce. You might find that the fruit or vegetable you don't like works much better with a sauce or dip. Celery is helped greatly by a little hummus, for example. Seasoning is also a good option. Try more. If you haven't found a vegetable you like yet, keep trying. Vegetables come in all shapes and sizes, and there are hundreds and hundreds of them. Keep trying different types, and you're sure to find at least some that you like. And that's just fine. You don't have to eat the same few vegetables that everyone else does. Carrots, broccolis, peas. As long as you know how to source the type of vegetable that you do like, you'll still get the amazing benefits of eating vegetables. Have a soup or smoothie. One vegetable might not taste great to you, but blend it up in a soup or smoothie, you might just find you can get away with it. Supplements. This is not the same by any stretch. Taking a multivitamin is not as good as eating real vegetables. But if you absolutely cannot stomach the thought of broccoli, then having a supplement of some sort will at least help to some degree. It's the next best thing. How to make sure you get lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet. While health, diet, and fitness can be a somewhat controversial subject with many contrasting views, there is one viewpoint that is pretty much unanimous among all parties. Fruits and vegetables are good for us. And in fact, they're extremely good for us, and a lack of the vitamins and minerals found in fruits might actually be responsible for a lot of the health issues faced by many people today. So the question then becomes, 
How do you make sure you're getting enough? This is a pertinent question, given that fruits and vegetables are prone to going moldy in the fruit bowl, take a while to prepare when cooking, and can get expensive. In this presentation, we'll go over some top tips. Use frozen. Frozen fruits and vegetables retain many of the same healthy properties as non-frozen. This means that you can buy yourself a pack of frozen mushrooms, for example, and then use these in cooking. There's never a need to run out and buy more. You'll be able to add them to all kinds of meals. Freeze your cooking. While we're on the subject of the freezer, you can also use this as an ideal place to freeze extra portions of the meals you cook. Just cook more than you need whenever you make a healthy meal. Then place the extra portions in the freezer. You can now eat a healthy bolognese or similar dish instead of a far less healthy ready meal the next time you're pushed for time. Use dried fruit. Similar to frozen vegetables, dried fruit is a great option for conveniently getting the benefits of healthy food without having to risk things going off. You can even dry your own fruit outside. Grow your own. A money-saving strategy that is also rewarding and a lot of fun. This won't save time so much, but you'll find yourself eating more fruits and vegetables this way simply because you're so proud of what you've created. Use the blender. Making soups and smoothies is an ideal way to enjoy lots of healthy fruits and vegetables on the go. The prep can take a while, but this is less of an issue if you choose low-effort fruits and vegetables. And if you use the best products that make cleaning up afterward as easy as possible. Top Ways to Enjoy Fruits That Feel Like Enjoying a Dessert At some point in their lives, nearly every kid will have to realize the bitter irony that nearly everything that tastes great is bad for them, and nearly everything they don't enjoy eating is really good for them. Their parents are obsessed with forcing them to eat broccoli and kale, but they're only allowed the occasional morsel of chocolate. Thing is, most of us never actually stop being bitter about this. Most of us adults are still not really understanding why we have to eat unexciting fruits and vegetables. The good news? There are ways to enjoy fruits and vegetables that are just as exciting and tasty as desserts. Here are some of the best options. Mashed Banana This won't sound exciting until you try it. Part of its appeal, though, is its simplicity. Just take a banana, mash it with a fork, and then pour milk on top you'll find that this creates a deliciously sweet and creamy meal that also comes packed with all the benefits of bananas. Ice Lollies Another great way to enjoy your fruit is a lolly. Just take some fruit juice, you can make this yourself, maybe some yogurt and a little water. Fill into a mold, place in the freezer, and then enjoy sucking on your ice-cold fruit. Yogurt Take some blueberries, scatter them in a bowl, and then dollop on top some plain Greek yogurt. Again, it doesn't sound super exciting, but it is actually extremely tasty when you give it a shot. And not only that, but it's also extra beneficial, seeing as yogurt is also packed with good bacteria and can help to protect your gut. Fruit Salad Take lots of pieces of fruit, chop them up small, and then sprinkle just a little sugar on top. That sugar isn't the end of the world, but what it does do is to help the juice to release from the fruit, giving you a much sweeter and juicier dish than you otherwise would have had on top. Take any cake, ice cream, or anything else and enjoy some fruit on the side. There are some amazing combinations here. Cherries are fantastic with a dark chocolate cake, for instance, while raspberries are classic with meringue. If you were going to eat the dessert anyway, why not make it just a little bit healthier?